Hello everyone, today we are going to be reviewing a Marvel action figure custom Agent Venom. Now people hasn't been doing so many customs of Agent Venom lately, such as Marvel Universe. Mostly Marvel Legends, but they mostly do head sculpts of Eddie, or maybe Eddie or if it's Flash. Um, but they mostly like... They've been doing, like, different, um, textures and all that stuff. But today, I got this figure about, I would say, Saturday. And I would say it has been the best figure I've got lately. I've been dying to get it. I've been so obsessed with it until they sell, uh, sold it on eBay. And I bought it, and it came today, well, well, Saturday. And I was, like, so excited, but... The guy did, did did a little, like, mistakes. He just missed some of the paint. And we'll get to that part later. But right now, he came with guns. The Uzi, one in his pocket. You, uh, this one is removable. But this one here, right there, isn't. And he also came with uh, this gun, too, as well. So, yeah, this has been the best figure. Now, now we are going to the texture part now let me take off its gun okay so i love this figure it's just the guy he did like a couple of mistakes he forgot to like paint right in the shoulder like i wouldn't say shoulder but like here in the arm and yeah he just like forgot to paint it but if you bend it like, it's not there, so you, nobody would notice it. But still, it's just, like, one simple... I mean, he did, like, two mistakes, but I wouldn't say it's not that bad. So, when... When he... When you bend down his foot, he can do ankle pivot. But it loosens. Like, it's loose. But if you snap it, like, put it back straightened... It clicks like a little. You may not hear it, but you can feel the clicking. He did really good with the spider sign right here. The, really good with the paint abs. And he didn't do it in the back, but that's alright. He also has like a hole in its back to pose him or make him put like um, that black tentacles, make him hold guns or whatever if you customize something like that. Now, this was the last figure that I got, but it's really cool that I have him. He has been, like, the number one. This is my third custom figure. I will show you the others uh, next time, or maybe today. But right now, I would like to show you this bad boy. And he did really good. He did good with the shoulder pads, too. This one fell out, so I'm going to super glue that one. He has knee pads and all that stuff, heavy arm protections. This one right here looks like it can be a custom Arius knee pad. That's what it looks like to me if you just see it a little closer. What he did back here, it's like one of the Captain America's figure. Yeah, it looks like the Captain America figure um, with those guys with like the big fire. I don't know their name. But if you know, if you do know their name, uh, let, leave a comment and tell me. But yeah, this figure has been the best. I mean, like, he can double joint. He can bend his elbow. And he can move his wrist from down to up. But he doesn't, like, move forward or back. He can move his head. Left and right, and all the way back, if you just lift his head up a little. Like, from back here. Like, from back here. And around. But looking up and down, looking all the way up, I would say that's how high he can look. All the way down, this is how down he can go. Um, he also has the belt, the gadgets that is in his pocket. I kind of loosened up the belt a little, so if you can see like a little opened maybe so I can like add his pistol 
because he only comes with one pocket. And he also comes with two pistols. This is the first one and the other one. And he also comes with an Uzi. And I wanted to see if I can loosen these pockets a little here. So I can, like, try to shove it in. And I just noticed right now that the belt, like, somewhere around here could be one of the belt of Ghost Rider. I mean, the belt from back here is, like, black. But from here in the camera looks blue. So you guys might think it's, like... A bit of a Ghost Rider color. Like if you see the legs a little and the back of its pockets. It's like mostly um, a Ghost Rider's like um, details a little. But yeah, this guy, I would want to say thank you. And keep making more of these custom figures. And if they sell on eBay, please, please make a Super Scroll. Because I've been dying to get them lately. Um, I want one to have like a big arm if they can. But this is my first Agent Venom. And I really love it. Even though he did like little mistakes right there. I still love it. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Catch you guys later. Yeah.